Welcome back to Malacca Motorsports. I'm Stav and on today's video, we're gonna be doing the last part of this series, which is making the harness pretty. We're gonna finally wrap it. As you guys saw in the last wiring video we had, we got everything running, it's, you know, it's good to go. Uh, now we're gonna be going to the testing phase, but first we have to wrap the harness and, wrap, and route it correctly through the body for the last time, hopefully. Uh, you know, as much as we see that everything works, we never know if an issue might arise, but I hope it doesn't. Uh, the only thing I'll be wiring today, basically, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to wire the nitrous, what kind of switches we're going to use, what kind of relays we're going to use, and why we're using them. So uh, let's get started because I have a lot of work and I have a lot of things I want to show you guys. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, some of it's pretty boring. All depends on what you like. Uh, I think nitrous is a lot of fun, so uh, let's get started. We pulled out the harness out of the car. Everything's out. Now we have everything on the table. Again, looking like spaghetti. The next time we will be, you know... Hopefully done with this thing will be completely nice wrapped ready to go I end up cutting my hand pulling it out uh, cutting on something sharp on the dash uh, Damn you Audi for putting uh, sharp edges on metal, uh, but uh once we, you know, we're gonna be labeling everything. We bought this nice DR25 stuff, uh, multiple different sizes, because I didn't exactly know what you need, and it's always better to have more than to wait on just a single piece. So every size available, we have, uh, let's see, what size is this? 316s, quarter inch, uh, three quarters. They have transitions in there that'll be like, you know, allow it to split. We got one inch, one and a quarter. Not sure exactly what we're gonna need, but we have enough. Uh, hopefully, if not, we'll have to order more and get it for the next date, but that's not gonna be a problem. The, the whole point is to get this done. So George can uh, start making uh, power, but uh, you know, overall, I mean, we're, you see we have the long transition here. We're gonna clean this all up, make this look a lot nicer so that uh, we, this will be like, just basically, you know, the work that's put in, well, you know, the, the finishing touches will make everything look good. So let's get pinning and uh, let's get wrapping. This is the DSG harness section that I made before. This is a whole new connector. And I ended up now I'm wrapping it up in the DR25. It comes out pretty nice. I'm gonna wrap it pretty close to where he is. I mean, you know, this stuff is pretty nice, pretty hard to, I mean, run because it is a little bit on the stiffer side, but, you know, so far I've only run, done the short runs. I, I can't wait till I get to the long run. It's going to be a lot of fun, said nobody ever. Uh, I'm, I'm end up, I'm going to el eliminate the factory connector. I cut it out and I'm going to put one of these DTM connectors. I really like this stuff. I mean, I, they're a little bit pricey, but, you know, they are double insulated, as you guys see in the regular videos. Don't mind the blood on my hand, guys. Uh, I uh, definitely cut my hand underneath the dash today, um, but... I really like these DTM connectors because they're double sealed. Um, you guys seen me use them before on the injector harness and all the other, you know, jazz. But you know, it's, I really like I really like them. You know, it's overall it's a really high quality connector, double sealed. And you know, for somebody that's driving the car as much as we plan on driving this thing, you know, you want to make sure you have the best quality connectors. And honestly, the factory connector works nice. But you know, I mean, this I in my opinion, this works nicer. So you know, now that we're doing it, we're gonna wrap it up, and we're using all the good, all the you know, good quality harness wrap. Might as well put the best quality, uh, you know, connector in there. So, you know, I mean, just a few extra dollars, you know. And, you know, what I like about it is that it's just double sealed and, you know, it's easy. And it, one, I, one thing I really like, it's very easy to unpin. You know, trying to unpin those factory connectors can be a pain in the butt. Anyone that's done them or does this for a profession can probably say amen right now. So, you know, pretty easy to use these and you just continue to crimp them. You know, I always do double and boom pull tug test and make sure that they're not loose you know i got to do it about three more times and then we're going to put this into that uh housing and you know make it look pretty nice so let's keep going guys and uh let's get this thing done use all the wiring mess here i made a table here got a lot of <laughs> bits and pieces but now we're going to start to wrap the harness actually what i did is go ahead and uh, wrap the injector harness and the injector harness i believe is done uh, have that all pre-wrapped have everything labeled as you guys can see uh inject says injector three there one two three four five six and then also i wrapped the dsg harness um overall i mean listen it's not the most professional job ever but it's coming out way nicer than it the original one came out so i uh, just need to, i did do like a light heat shrink to it but again uh i will go through with the heat gun and, and and you know make it tighter but um yeah this is the now the injector harness um everything's labeled so if we ever take them off and you know we know that you know this is for three that's for five that's for you know exactly so there's no more confusion with the injectors it's kind of hard to confuse them because they're like made to length but on the map sensor the cooling pressure sensor on the motor it, you know if you disconnect them it's kind of hard to figure out where it goes everything so um let's keep going guys so uh you know we're making a lot of progress here as you guys see the dsg harness is pretty much done here um, i switched all the factory connectors and went to a deutsch style connector pretty nice uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It came out much nicer than I expected it to. Uh, this is my first time doing a complete wrap on a harness and uh, I'm happy with it so far. Yeah, 
Uh, definitely a lot of things I can improve on uh, as I go through and do the harness, but it's my first time working with this DR25 stuff. It's very durable, very nice. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a quality product because uh, some of the Amazon heat shrink, when you start to heat shrink it after like it cools down, it feels dry and brittle. But this DR25 stuff still still uh, feels pliable and doesn't seem like it's going to crack like the um, like the, like the cheap Amazon stuff. So uh, let's keep going, uh, and uh, we have a lot of work to do. So let's keep let's keep moving. We have the harness run. Um, it's not heat shrunk yet. It's all run though. I mean, basically nothing. That's why you see everything looks a lot bigger, wider than it has to be. It's definitely you know. So I mean, the rule of thumb from what ProWire has on their chart, that is if you buy, let's say, a inch uh, harness wrap, what's in, once it's heat shrunk and to its smallest size, it'll be as small as half an inch. So basically it divides by two. So, you know, everything becomes half the size. This all becomes smaller, tighter. They're pretty tight in there now, but once we heat shrunk them, they'll look, you know, much more uniform. I think this is the only one that I have heat shrunk. So you could see like, that's what it started off as. And then here we are with this thin ass wire. So, you know, we have everything run, everything looking good. Um, I have the, um, you know, everything, everything run. We're going to, the only thing I still have to wrap, I believe is, um, the, uh, fuel pressure wire, but everything else is run, run nicely. As you see, we have a divider here, divider split, and this is what goes to all the sensors in the bay. Uh, started to label everything. Um, I'm not sure how well this focuses on it, but, uh, the mistake I made is I didn't end up buying a uh, different size clear, uh, heat shrink. So now I got this kit. I got it off uh, Amazon prime. Pretty good kit comes different sizes because I didn't even think about it. You know, some wires like the like the um, throttle body has six wires. Then we have you know the IET that only has two. So I bought one size quarter inch heat shrink, and when we would shrink it down to the right size, it was still uh, moving and flexible. So it really wasn't um, doing a really good job. It was pretty much after we heat shrunk it, it was moving off. So now that I have that, I mean we're we're good to go. And uh, this Amazon Prime Dymo. Uh, Label maker is working absolutely great uh, for 80 bucks. It comes with three different size cartridges for the different size wires uh, You know came out pretty nice uh, so far working great again You know, I mean it just makes everything nicer and easier So, you know when we go to it if we ever have an issue, I mean we have the injectors here uh, right there You see like that that'll go to a Deutsch uh, style DTM connector Just gonna be overall making nice and cleaner because you know for example, you know some of the pins like the three pin pressure switches we have 10 you know pressure switches on this whole uh, harness and you know they all look the same and they're all about in the same location so if you disconnect it and you're getting the wrong reading you know it's some we've had that earlier with my earlier harness that we didn't label anything we realized we had it on you know we we mixed them up or whatever but this will help uh, dummy proof it because you know you want to make it as easy as possible in a year from now i might not remember what i did today or you know didn't do so let's keep going and uh got a lot of work to do guys all right, now that I'm labeling out the harness, wanted to show you guys uh, the tool that we use uh, in full function. Um, you know, showed you guys how to crimp and all that, so I'm not going to show you that here. But um, just have this little cheap little $80 tool. Really comes in handy. You could, you know, um, you know, we're going to do our back pressure sensor, which is technically EMAP. So we're going to, you know, uh, print it out. And then, you know, we're going to write EMAP on it. This will be for the back pressure sensor when George uh, solders, uh, not solders, uh, welds all those connectors on there and pretty easy to install you know just put um i just cut it down so there's not that much excess i know there's a way to do a setting on, on this thing but i i haven't figured it out because uh, i haven't looked into it so i just cut them down basically to about the limit of what it how it comes out um let's see you get this right here put a little screwdriver in there try to break it apart this and then i have really no nails so I'll just put it on there and uh slide it through and um, it's pretty easy. I mean, uh, there's no, I never really seen too many videos that show you how to do this stuff. I, I mean, some people like to put them at the end. The problem is we're gonna be like, um, when you're trying to pull the connector off, your hand will be here. So I try to move about four inches down. You know, I, I just eyeball some people that are professionals, you know, that actually know what they're doing, probably do it some way different. And I just take our handy dandy Harbor Freight heat gun. Cause you know, we don't got good tools here. And it just heat shrinks it and boom, good to go. Uh, but one thing you wanna do, and I do like these white labels. Uh, some people go with the yellow and black. I'm not a fan of it, especially with George's engine bay. I feel like the yellow and black will be more of an eyesore. I bought this uh, Amazon Prime kit, 275 piece uh, heat shrink kit. Comes with different size assortments. And uh, you wanna put a clear, uh, clear protection over it because you know, hand oils, coolant, all that will uh, definitely, um, definitely uh, what it, um, you know, leave handprints and start to smudge everything. So. You want to make sure that you put a uh, good protectant over it and 
something like this is does not fit so you go the next size up and you know just pretty, basically trial and error just kind of cut it to about the right size um, each one will be a little different because again you know different one might be turbo cooling pressure you know turbo pressure oil pressure it all depends on how long you want to do. i do slightly longer than it needs to be and then you know take the heat gun and just heat shrink it down and it pretty much melts pretty easy you don't you want to just keep moving it around you don't you don't need to you know you don't want to try to melt it or smudge it at all and and boom that's how you do it uh, pretty pretty easy uh once it cools you you know at first i bought the, all of them in one size quarter inch but because some wires have four wires some have two some of them didn't even fit over it some they were too small that when the heat shrinks so i bought this little assortment really comes in handy and yeah i mean that's how you you know you basically uh heat shrink and label make i mean it's come in handy because again when we pull the harness off and you and you know this will be just a typical three pin pressure sensor kind of like you know this one is right here as you see and you know you ha we have about 10 sensors that are like this you just don't want to mix them up and then have false readings and you know just because you have it, you know you know you didn't have it labeled so this time around we're labeling everything and making sure that everything reads correctly and uh yeah just going about that going about it one by one making sure that everything reads and reads the way it's supposed to and you know just check double double and triple checking everything to make sure it reads but yeah that's how you label everything make sure you put the clear protectant on it just so i see some people don't put the clear protectant on it and like you know at first when you're taking pictures of it, it looks great but six months down the line it looks pretty terrible cooling got on it oil got on it and just you know or even just road grime or water you know when you start to heat power wash your motor so make sure you put the clear protectant and uh that's how i do it uh, when i say i do it this is my first time doing it on an engine uh full harness but uh just giving you guys a little example so let's keep going okay guys so uh this harness is finally wrapped now uh may not look like the greatest harness ever done may not be like some of the ones you see on the internet but for my first harness ever taking on such a task i'm actually pretty proud of myself this is taking a lot of work many months to get it to this point and it's not just because we didn't just you know recreate and elongate a harness george wanted to add a lot of different sensors into the harness we're basically actually we are using every single input and every single output and you know have the car wired for let's say the cyvex um uh egt the cam that's coming soon when george uh, uh i'm not sure what date it is but you know we just pinned it right here that'll be you know another thing we're going to put on the canvas and um you know i'll show you guys the setup and everything on that but you know we added a lot of different sensors here like we talked about in our first wiring video and you know we we did a lot of transitions and there's a lot of things that are going on here it's not a typical engine harness that tends to be like four feet and you know from the because the engine you know the um the ECU is in the engine bay and it's a four foot run. This harness is very long and has many transitions and we're trying to make it all en encompass into one harness and look very clean and, you know, make sure that it's, you know, protected. Uh, and that's one thing that we did. We, you know, we ordered high quality, the DR25, a lot of different connectors, a lot of wires from ProWire. They were great. They sent everything out fast. Uh, you know, stuff like the injectors here came out really nice, very thin, uh, but high quality wire. Then we have the DSG harness, which we did right here. Um, you know, that came out really nice. I'm really proud of everything. I learned a lot during this pro um, process and I learned so much the first time, but every time you do something, you always find a way to do it better. And even this, I'm like happy with, but if I had the opportunity to do it again, I think I could do it 10 times better because every time, you know, I get more confident with how the, uh, with with how what, what we're doing here uh you know we definitely keep uh, raising the bar or george keeps asking for more things uh but overall guys i mean you know, I, I hope you guys really enjoyed this series uh you know there's a lot of things that i feel like we could do better on the next harness and we will and we have a lot of updates for my b5 coming and george has a lot of updates for the rs3 that he's been working on filming uh that he does what's the name he'll show you guys and release here soon uh but my part is done guys and uh, i hope you guys really enjoyed it and on to the next one Later, Malakas.